coral reefs are in danger. Rapidly warming ocean waters is the main reason they're dying in record numbers. This disturbing trend has motivated some people to act. Joni Klapus is a coral reef scientist and director of Raising Coral Costa Rica. I've worked on coral reefs for a long time, mainly as a scientist. And I got really tired of telling people how bad it's going to be and decided to, to say, what can we do to make the reefs more resilient? And that's why we started this project. Their project involves taking small pieces of coral from the wild and growing them in underwater nurseries for replanting on the reefs. The team uses simple technology to keep track of where the coral fragments come from to find the most resilient. We're also distributing our corals to many more locations with things like temperature sensors and monitoring, just, just to make sure we are gathering as much information we can about where to put them in the future. Restoration projects such as these are essential. By some estimates, the world has already lost 50% of its corals in the past 30 years due to global warming. If corals die, their disappearance will have a catastrophic impact on life both in and out of the ocean. Coral reefs protect our shorelines, maintain biodiversity in the water, and are essential to marine life. But for people like Klepus, it's also about keeping in place what's been in the ocean for millions of years. They have a right to be here, and we have the obligation to keep them around and to, and to build those pockets where they can serve, enough can survive so that they will rebuild in the future. Another group that's helping to restore coral is ArchiReef, a climate technology company that's developed 3D printed terracotta reef tiles that can be embedded into strategic areas of the ocean floor as a substrate to help grow new coral. We place them with divers, we place them at the bottom of the ocean and then we place coral fragments on top. One of the benefits of the lightweight tiles is they can be moved to deeper, cooler waters as needed. A diver can essentially deploy up to about 40 square meters in a single day uh, by themselves. That versatility has helped both projects achieve success as ocean temperatures continue to rise. In the words of renowned American oceanographer Sylvia Earle, the corals need the fish, the fish need the corals. If you take the fish away, the corals die. Take the corals away, the fish die. Julie Tabo, VOA News.